I get questions all the time about doing pH testing. You know, here I'm a pharmacist, and I can get really anal about that, but you don't need to be. So, once you've got your water in your tower, and you've put your A and B nutrients in, then you want to grab your pH tester kit that comes with it. So here's the pH test kit. The instructions are on the back. It talks about where we're going to put five mils of water in, then we're going to add five drops of the pH tester indicator solution. Then there's a color chart there. And then we have our pH up or pH down, uh, depending on what we need to do to the water. So it's really simple. Again, you don't have to be a chemist to do this. Um, so just go ahead and take your, take the different uh, parts out of the box here. And we're going to be shooting for a pH of 5.5 to 6.5. So as long as you're not colorblind, this will work great. Because I've had somebody that's called me up that's actually colorblind and they didn't know it. And so again, we're going for 5.5, so that's gold color, down to this green color, 6.5. That's the range we really want to get our pH in. A lot of us live in, in areas where the water is really hard. So again, you can do a little hydroponic filter, an RV filter, clean that water up. So you're going to take your little vial here, and you're just going to take the top off, and you're just going to go in here, and you're going to get 5 mils of water like that. So you got five mils of water in there. Very simple. You're going to take your pH tester red drops here. Take that top off. And you're just going to put five drops in here. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a swirl. And then you're just going to compare it to this chart here. And ours is green. So as you can see, you can match it up. It's about 6.0 here. So that's perfect. It's right in the range where you want to be. Now, some people like to test their water weekly. We say look at your plants, and if your plants are looking great, just check it monthly. You don't have to be a chemist like me and do that on a regular basis. Say the pH was down here at the orange color. Say it was in the orange field here, 4.5. Then you're going to want to add the pH up. So we got pH plus and we just add a capful at a time, and then mix it, and then we'll retest. Once we get to, to that 5.5 range, that's where we leave it, and we're, we're all happy. Now, if you're like us in Arizona here, where your water is really alkaline, you know, it's 7.5, 8, you know, these deep blues, then you're going to add the pH minus, pH down. So again, just start with a capful, retest, and you're going to do all of this after you've added your nutrient minerals because even these minerals will naturally bring your pH down as well. So you're going to add the A and the B nutrients first before you do the testing. So when you talk about the A and B nutrients, when you're growing indoors, you're going to use full strength. So when I talk about full strength, that's 20 mils per gallon. This is about a 13 gallon reservoir. So that'll be 260 mils of the A and the B each. Some people just put in A. Remember, we've got all the trace minerals in there, 70 plus uh, essential trace minerals in here between the two solutions. So growing indoors, you're going to use 20 mils per gallon. So 260 mils. So some people that work in cups, that'd be just a little over a cup of each. Put in your tower, and you're ready to go. With the flex tower, when we're growing outside, and we have new seedlings, we want to start with half strength. So that's going to be 10 mils of A and 10 mils of B. And since you have a 20 gallon reservoir, that'll be 200 mils of A, 200 mils of B when we start up initially. We use half strength so we don't burn our seedlings. Plus, we don't want um, to uh, overfeed them because they're not ready to receive all that nutrition. You have a lot more transpiration, evaporation going on outside. Unlike inside your house, you have a controlled environment, just like my greenhouse, right? You all have your own greenhouse inside your house. So that controlled environment is a great place to grow your own beautiful tower indoors, no matter where you live in this, uh, in this world.